Okay, here is another one of those crazy roof designs, and you're not going to see this very often, but uh, it is a roof that intersects the other roof at a 45 degree angle, and the individual wanted to know how they could figure out where to position all of the posts that were going to be used to support the cathedral or vaulted ceiling. So let's see if I can uh, make some sense out of this for them. Now before we look at how to figure out the intersecting ridge and building at a 45 degree angle, let's just go ahead and take a look at a couple of squares here. We're going to start with the basics. And if we have a square that's 8 foot by 8 foot, and we wanted to find the center for our post, all we need to do is snap a line across and connect the corners. This can also be done by splitting the square in half and snapping a line from half of the distance of the square and half of the distance on the other side. So eight foot square, we would just snap a straight line across here at four foot. And then since four foot is half the distance of the square on this side, we would come across here. So this could be done either way with a square. And with a rectangle, we're not going to be able to do that unless we're going to build a roof like this. This is not a common way to build a roof with a rectangle. It's going to be more common to split the distance in half, pick up the ridge at uh, the center of the building, and then simply take that distance and then come back. And this will provide us with our common roof hip. Um, most of the time these are going to be at a 45 degree angle coming off of a 90 degree corner and they're going to intersect at the center of the building. So if this was just something we drew on the ground and remember our, our ultimate objective is to find out where the posts are going to be located. If we just snapped a line across the center of the building and then took the measurement here and then drew another line, came back and drew another line with our half the span measurement, it's going to provide us with the intersecting point on a rectangle for something like this. So hope that makes sense. If we have an intersecting area, again, we're using eight foot by eight foot. We're simply going to snap a line across and connect the two points together here. And you can see that basically, if you go back and look at the first drawing or illustration in the video, it kind of looks like these valleys are going straight. Um, you know, even though they're at an angle going up, this is basically going to be a straight line on our floor plan. So this would provide us with a place to position our post if we were going to have a post that would be supporting a ridge beam in both directions here. So here are the angles, 45 degrees, 65 and a half, 112 and a half. And here are, again, how you would figure out the hips. And again, this is a rectangle. This is basically a rectangle that's intersecting another rectangle. So you're going to use the same methods to figure the hips and uh, the same methods for figuring out the location of the post with a building like this. And it doesn't matter if it's going to be a wider building or if it's going to change and uh, become a larger angle. So here we have a building that's a little larger. Four foot six is half the span. Uh, but the line is still going to snap across here. Now this almost looks like it's like this line is parallel to this line. And in some cases it might actually be. But kind of looking at it, you can tell that it's a little off. It's not parallel to this. It would need to come in a little closer here to get that. So I hope that makes sense. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area. And I will answer them as soon as possible.